Hey there, I just want to um, show you kind of a trick that I uh, figured out on uh, GarageBand for uh, the Mac uh, that's useful for uh, doing guitar, uh, especially if you don't have very good rhythm like I do. Just a little trick that I have been using lately to uh, lay down some uh, rhythm guitar tracks for, um, for keeping a, uh, a good rhythm. Uh, if when you do this, you want to have kind of a a quick count here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up to 240 uh, beats per minute. That um, open up a, a new track. It's going to be a real instrument, and I'm going to go ahead and get my guitar over here. And basically, what you're going to do is is um, is, is just record uh, one strum on the guitar and uh, you can begin um, just with the first um, chord in your um, in your song so just click record All right and then what you're going to do here is you're just going to kind of trim it down so that all that you have is um, is just the sound of that uh, one chord that you played, and I found it's best to uh, do it by time, and just trim it right, right to the very beginning of the of the chord, and I'm going to go ahead and put it back to measures because this will give us perfect timing here, and I'm going to make this last about two measures. And basically what you're going to do is, um, on this track right here, is just uh, record uh, one strum for each chord that's going to be uh, in your song. Alright, once you have gotten all of your chords uh, recorded and cut down to about uh, two measures each, you'll have a track that basically uh, looks like this. And um, it just sounds like this. Um, it's just one chord for each, uh, just one, just one recording for, for each chord that's in your song. Uh, you won't need any more of that because you're just going to copy and paste everything uh, into uh, tracks. Um, so that's what we got there. That's every single chord that's going to be in my song. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, create uh, several different, uh, several different tracks. Um, that we can just um, copy and paste uh, these chord uh, recordings into. So basically what we're going to do is, is um, according to the timing, uh, you're just going to um, take your first chord, you're going to copy it, and then go down to your first one. I'm going to start this on the fourth measure here, and just paste it in there, highlighted. And then, see, now you have your first uh, chord pasted in there. So just go down here, paste it in here. It gets a little bit tedious to do this, but um, like I said, if you have really bad timing, um, this will basically give you perfect timing. Um, what you can do is you can just um, make it so that you only are hearing these ones. So basically what you have right now is um, uh, the first couple beats of your song. You just play it in here and it sounds like this. Like that. It's going to go ahead and uh, drag a bunch of uh, a bunch of them in here and then um, uh, once I get enough in there for it to actually sound like a song, uh, I'll slow it down and uh, give you guys uh, a hear. Right, basically what I've done so far is copy and paste the just the little samples of the, the chord into each track. Um, because I have four tracks in here because of the rhythm that I have, uh, the new chord is always going to be starting up here on this, um, on this first track and then it plays out in rhythm here. Um, so I'll go ahead and give you a sample of what I've done so far. Alright, I'll stop it there. And uh, as you can see, uh, this right here is the last um, chord that played, and we're about to go into uh, transition to the new chord, which is the, the fourth uh, chord in the sequence. 
which I have right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. Then we're going to go one more beat here. I'm going to highlight that one. Go ahead and paste it in there. I'm going to go ahead one more beat. Copy this one here. Go two beats. Copy it in there. And then finish it out right here. So if I go back and play it, you'll be able to hear the new chord that's been added in there. I'm just uh, going to keep on uh, dragging these in. Okay, basically what I uh, have done so far is I've gone through the first 16 measures of my song and uh, what is going to happen uh, next is uh, in my song um, uh, I basically just repeat uh, what I did before and what's uh, going to be nice here is that I can just copy and paste everything that I've already done um, and uh, just have it play over again. This is what I have so far. This is the first 16 measures. And I'll give you an idea what you're doing. All right, and at this point, we're just going to um, start the whole uh, thing over again. So I'm just going to select this whole thing here like so I'm going to copy that and then just go in uh, right here and this is going to allow me to uh, simply just paste the whole thing that I've already done uh, before and it'll just take care of uh, about 15 minutes worth of work and just paste it right in and so basically what we'll have uh, is the entire thing starting. <laughs> my song is going to do is it's going to repeat that one more time then it's going to go into a break and a chorus uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag all that in and uh, once we get there uh, to the end of the song um, we'll do a little bit of mixing on the tracks and make it sound um, a little bit uh, less robotic uh, and more natural and basically what you have now is uh, your song uh, with perfect perfect rhythm uh, the only problem is is that it sounds uh, really harsh and so basically what we're going to do now is try to minimize that a little bit and make it sound better and um, one of the main ways that we do that is uh, by connecting all these fragments together it'll help GarageBand to um, mix it down and uh, it just makes it sound a lot better so um, there we go so you're just going to join all of these together and it'll take uh, GarageBand a little bit to uh, create that mix down. But we're going to do that with um, each of the tracks. And I think, as you'll see, it's going to make it sound a whole lot better. All right, and now that I have all those uh, tracks joined together uh, already, it's starting to sound uh, a little bit better.